how to reframe your videos for Instagram stories. <laughs> Like pretty much everything else, DaVinci makes it really easy to adjust your YouTube clips for other social media like Instagram and Facebook. Obviously, we're using those platforms on our phones and 16 by 9 is not as appealing to the eye as 5 by 4 ratio. This square format is preferred for the Instagram posts. Sometimes this could be a lot of hassle, so DaVinci Resolve has a smart reframing option that does most of the job. There are a few options that you need to know within this tool, so let's resolve it. Bad pun, bad pun. A couple things before going into DaVinci, 9 by 16 Instagram stories or Facebook stories, pretty much. 4x5 Instagram posts and 1x1 one one for Facebook posts. I have already imported a couple of clips that we're going to reframe. First, we're going to go back into the cut tab and click on the safe area button. Then we're going to click on the drop down menu and choose our ratio. Now we're going to try to adjust these clips for Instagram stories. So we're going to go 9 by 16. I'm just going to deselect the broadcast and film. This way we can get an idea of how the video would look. Now we go here at the top right at the video output panel and click on the timeline resolution, selecting the drop down menu and we choose our resolution. As you can see, there are unwanted black bars. It will be really time consuming to rescale the clips individually. So we go back into the drop down menu and we select custom timeline settings. Then here at the mismatched resolution option, we, we choose from the drop down menu, scale full frame with crop. Then we click the okay button. And now every single clip is scaled. All right, now let's go to the edit tab and let's play with the smart reframing tool it's located in the inspector in the transform section down under the settings you have smart reframe now this drop down menu here where it says objects of interests is automatically set to auto it's really good to know that if we have multiple clips selected in the timeline it fades away and you can't change this auto setting now in order to reframe multiple clips we're just gonna highlight them all and hit reframe the virtual gonna do its job it's analyzing it's doing it pretty quickly done and now let's take a look uh, these are pretty much in the frame this shot is good this shot is good this one is okay, pretty good actually. So sometimes DaVinci will, won't do perfect job. For example, we might need this even more centered. So we're gonna drop down the keyframes and we might wanna move this one. Let's go to this keyframe right here and switch the position, maybe here as well. And maybe the next keyframe as well. And now we have it looking like this. It's really important to know that what smart reframing does is essentially rescaling, repositioning, adding keyframes to your videos automatically and we can adjust them manually by dropping down the keyframes. Okay, and let's use this clip to try and use the other option here in the drop down menu which is the reference point. So once we, once we click on the reference point, it's now activated. If it's not activated to you, you can click here on this box or you can enable it from here. Now this box, what we can do essentially is adjust the size of the box, select the subject that we want to be centered and then reframe. And now the subject is more centered. There are of course situations where you don't have a specific subject so you should reframe your video manually. And that's pretty much smart reframing in DaVinci Resolve. I hope it was helpful. For more videos like this please subscribe 
give a like, share it with somebody who might need it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.